are you enjoying the food, dear? Oh, it's, uh, it's great, thanks. Oh, thank you so much for bringing these buffalo wings. They look delicious. <laughs> no problem. Uh, they're from uh, Cooper's. They're, they're famous for their wings. <laughs> half of these are hot, the other half are mild. I didn't know what you guys liked. I like hot. I like mild. Hey, that's, that's what makes the world go round, huh? <laughs> Question for you, is Carrie coming back at any oh, point? Oh, of course or? she is. I think she's having a visit from her Aunt Flo. <laughs> How would you like a nice warm biscuit? Okay, yeah, sure. Be back in a jiff. Is the bitch gone? <laughs> Did some someone hello? Is she gone? Uh yeah, she's in the kitchen. Arthur Spooner. I'm Carrie's father. Oh, hi, Doug Heffernan. So, you're with IPS, huh? Yeah, IPS. Yep. Aren't you concerned about losing your job to a machine? <laughs> Not really, no. I, uh... See, I drive to a lot of people's houses and, and deliver packages to them. <laughs> I, uh... Don't know really how a machine would do that. It's going to happen, my friend. Yeah. They're working on it, even as we speak. <laughs> I was never here. Here you go, piping hot. Ooh, let me freshen up that orangina. Give me a drumstick. <laughs> Thank you. There you go, sweetheart. Where's the other drumstick? I, I don't, um, I, I... I think this one started out with one. Arthur, give me back that drumstick! You'll have to pry it out of my dead, cold hand! Excuse me, where, where's the bathroom? The psycho is in it. Arthur Duck has to go to the bathroom, now get out! No, he can come in if he wants, but I'm staying. <laughs> Son, what do you have, number one or number two? So, you've been dating my daughter for quite a while now, huh? Uh, yeah, yes, about uh, six months now, sir. So, pretty serious. Oh, yes. She, she's, a, she's a great girl. And uh, you are planning to get the weight off? <laughs> Absolutely, I'm on it. Problem with the plumbing, son? No, no, you know, I'm just having a hard time going with you in here. Okay. Oh, why don't you say so? By all means, I'll give you some privacy. Oh, well, thank you. <laughs> so, where are you from? Regal Park. Oh, wonderful area. You must know my friend Stan. Runs the shoe shine joint down by the Dunkin' Donuts. Uh, you know what? Nope, don't know him. Sure you do. I'm sorry. Don't know him, Mrs. Spooner. For God's sake, son, Stan. Stan. Shoe shine, Stan. <laughs> oh, shoe. Shoe shine, Stan. Yes. Oh, yeah. He did go to my shoes. Yup. Yeah. There you go. Okay, you know what? I'm not having any luck with this. I'm just going to go up to the mobile station on the corner. <laughs> I'm gonna make you buy something. You out, Doug? Want some pie? I should be having Thanksgiving over in my place. Bring all my relatives in. That's what a good father would do. So do it. No, I can't even find someone to pick up my kids from school. How am I gonna pull off a whole big Thanksgiving? I need a wife. Well, you look
looking at? You. <laughs> now, look, I'm gonna throw something out here. Now, don't shoot it down right away. Just let it wash over you. Okay. I'm thinking of loaning you out to Deacon. What? He's, he's real upset, and he, he decided he, he, he wants to have a big Thanksgiving at his place, but he's crazy with work and the kids, and... Look, bottom line is, he needs a wife. So I thought I'd loan you to him, you know, like I lent him my drill. Okay, a couple of things. First of all, I am not a power tool. And second, if I ever do become someone else's wife, it ain't gonna be another truck driver. Come on, Deacon's desperate. It would just be for the week. You gotta just pick the kids up, make them dinner, and then help them get Thanksgiving organized. I don't know. It's the spirit of Thanksgiving. For, for God's sakes, the, the pilgrims, they gave their wives to the Indians. That's not what happened. Well, they gave out maize, I know that. Do you even know what maize is? Some kind of food that was amazing. Oh, yeah. Come on, Carrie, you, you told me yourself, you got an easy work week, your dad's out of town. Come on. All right, I'll do it. I'll be your best friend's wife. Sweet. No, Uncle Fred, I can't pick you up at the airport because I have to pick up Nana Letty from the nursing home. Just take the shuttle from the airport. It'll drop you off right here. No, the shuttle. When you get off the plane, just look for the sign. The sign will say shuttle. <laughs> Uh, hang on a sec. Someone requested a mail-order bride? <laughs> yeah. Come on in. Look, thanks so much for coming. You are saving my life. Now, are you sure you're up for this? I gotta be honest with you, Deke. I think we should have done this swap a long time ago. <laughs> <laughs> All right, honey, where do you want me to start? You want me to make some dinner? Chase you around with a rolling pin? What do you like? Hold on. I'm actually making some travel plans, trying to get my family in, so a dinner would be great. Uh, I picked up some ground beef. The kids love meatloaf. One loaf of meat coming right up. Wow, this looks great. Oh, thank you. <laughs> I'll get it. Okay. Hello. Hey, man. What are you doing here? I just thought I'd drop off a little housewarming gift, get the new couple off on the right foot. <laughs> Yeah, they sell everything at gas stations now. <laughs> hey, you want to stay for dinner? On your first night together? Yeah. I'm sure you want the loser best friend hanging around. <laughs> Actually, I'm going to go catch a movie. Yeah, oh, oh, that thing is dripping. Let me throw a plate under this. Oh, okay. So, everything going okay? Yeah, it's great. You know, I, I know I fought you on this one, but I, I really feel good, you know? I really feel like I'm helping him. You know, you're doing a really good thing. I'm very, very proud of you. Now... If I'm gonna make a movie and a strip club, I gotta scoot. All right. All right, come on, you guys, dig in. All right, what do you guys say to Carrie? Thanks, Thank you, Carrie. Carrie. You're welcome. <laughs> Thanks, Carrie. Yeah. Whoa, hello, and you are? Uh, that guy said I could use the phone. Oh, okay. Doug, what is a man with an eye patch doing in our kitchen? Oh, his car broke down. And you just let him in here? Yeah, he was stranded. What do you expect me to do? Have you ever met this man before? No. And have you seen this car that supposedly broke down? No. Could you offer me any assurance that we're not about to die? <laughs> Will you relax? It's fine. I let people in here all the time. <laughs> oh, okay. That's a relief. Excuse me, what's your address here? Oh, it's 3121 Aberdeen. Thanks. Ow. You don't just give a stranger our address. It's on the door. It's not like I gave him my PIN number. Actually, I do use that as my PIN number. You know what? Just get rid of him, okay? <sighs> okay, my buddy's coming to pick me up. Um, there's a diner on the corner. Why don't you wait for your buddy over there, okay? Uh, it's closed. Everything around here is closed. You mind if I wait here? Sure. <laughs> I mean, outside, if you don't mind. Okay. 
inside would be fine normally, but we're uh, getting ready for company and we're going to be vacuuming. It's going to be real noisy in here. I think you'll like it better out here. Seriously, so just make yourself comfortable. Although, I'd avoid that chair unless you like getting poked by something cold and rusty. <laughs> right. So, how long till your buddy gets here? Oh, uh, well, he's coming from Baltimore, so I guess about four hours. <laughs> Okay, then. Okay, here she is. Happy Thanksgiving. <laughs> Yoo -hoo. Hello. Hi. Oh, oh wow. Well, I got mine. What are the rest of you having? <laughs> All right, let me carve this bad boy up. Okay, in the meantime, everybody serve yourselves. I got some stuffing. All right, mm. And some sweet potatoes. You got that? Oh, I'll get and that. some I'll get fresh that. green beans. Oh, Son of an ass! <laughs> Obviously not a bean guy. No, he's watching the football game on his little TV. <laughs> the man has a serious gambling problem. Well, as long as he's having a good time. <laughs> okay, everybody, in the meantime, here you go. Come on, scoop and pass. Scoop and pass. Right. Let's go. Move it. Hello. Wow, he looks cold. They say he's going to get below 30 tonight, not counting the wind chill. Is that man going to freeze, Daddy? I don't know, son. <laughs> Don't worry, I noticed when he came inside he had a whole thermal thing underneath his clothes. He's actually warmer out there than we are in here. <laughs> Carp. Okay, so enough about him. Let's enjoy each other's company, shall we? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Hey, let's change the subject. Um, anyone seen the new Wim Wenders film? <laughs> well, it's better than talking about that guy. I mean, man, he gives me the creeps. Really? I, I kind of think he's cute. What? Yeah, when I came in, I saw that he has a nice smile and his eye is so blue. Hey, anyone see the uh, Thanksgiving parade this morning? See that raw catch? Took a nosedive right That's off the side of the boat. Oh, so funny. I didn't see it. Didn't stop laughing. I didn't see it. That sounds funny, though. Stuffing, no raisins. What? Fix this. Fix what? Okay, in case you haven't noticed, idiot, everybody's obsessed with your porch pal out there. Nobody's eating. It's completely awkward. What do you want me to do? The guy's waiting for his buddy to pick him up. He's got nowhere else to go. The only other option is to let him wait inside here. Inside? Are you really that stupid? Stupid with kindness. Okay, don't, just close the curtains then. No, I'm not doing it. It's rude. Oh, rude? Uh, okay, I'm sorry. I guess I'm not up to speed on the rules of etiquette involving one-eyed porch psychos. <laughs> now, look, I, I worked my ass off to make a, a nice Thanksgiving meal, and I want people to enjoy it. So you're going to march in there, you're going to close the curtains, and then you're going to make a funny joke to get everybody in good mood again. Okay? Now go! Fine, but for the record, you're way scarier than Patchy. Doug? Hmm? Doug Heffernan, I thought that was you. Hey! Hi. How have you been? Still driving the delivery truck? Yeah, yep, yep, yeah. You uh, still doing your crazy thing? Yeah, you know, same old, same old. All right, well, fantastic. Take it easy now, all right? Hey! Yeah. <laughs> Thanksgiving. <laughs> Gotta love the holidays. Oh, can't argue with that. Cannot argue. <laughs> and I won't. <laughs> it's been a while. You look good. So do you. Are you going this way? Can we talk? Actually, see, I need to go find the, the snack aisle, so... That's where I'm going! Come on! Okay, great! Yeah, okay. Doug! Hey, again! Hombre! I'm glad I ran into you again. I, I just couldn't leave things the way we left them back there. High, high, like everything's fine. You couldn't? I don't want to drudge up the past, but... What happened between us... I just feel like we never got any closure. Really? Because actually, I'm I'm pretty closed. <laughs> At least until after the holidays. <laughs> you always could make me laugh. Hey, look, I know this is stupid, 
but let me give you some money, just as a gesture, and then we'll call it square. No, 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 come on. I insist. I'm writing you a check right now. Where, uh, I don't, I don't see your name on those. Oh, it's a new account. These are temporary checks, but they're good, I promise. How much do you think is fair? Look, you don't have to give me any money. Come on, how much? Hundred dollars? Oh, be serious. Five hundred? Ow. Fifty dollars? I get it. You don't want any money, and now I've just insulted you, haven't I? <laughs> Why do I always do that to you? Look, here's my number, and if you want to call me, call me, but if not, I understand. Damn me. How do I know this guy? Is he on my delivery route? Did we go to camp together? Did I go through some kind of phase? <laughs> I'm following this woman. I'm copying her shopping list item by item. I'll just figure out how to put it all together when I get home. <laughs> Hun, do you have your cell phone on you? Yeah, yeah, it's in my purse. I just realized, I have the guy's number on me. I could call him at home right now. I'd get his machine. I could find out what his name is. I am brilliant. Are those raisins? <laughs> Hello? Hi. I just got a crank call. Hey, watch this. Star 69. <laughs> you just called me? Well, yeah, just to tell you that there's a special on Desinex in aisle two. No, no, no. You thought you were calling my machine. You were gonna leave one of your little messages. Look, if you've got something to say to me, at least have the guts to say it to my face. I, I don't have anything to say. I thought you'd changed. Hey, I have changed. Oh, come on, you're exactly the same. You're putting that goofy smile to cover up your sneaky little hidden agenda. Hey, I don't have an agenda, okay? Maybe you ought to get off your little high horse there, fella. <laughs> okay, here we go again. Come on, dump it on me. All that bile, all that venom, just put it on me. Oh, yeah, you'd like that, wouldn't you? Yeah, well, you know what? I'm not getting sucked in again. Once was enough, or twice, whatever. How do you live with yourself? Just fine. Thank you very much. You know, I'm going to stop putting myself through this. I'm going to go. Fine, go, please. Fine. 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 Hey, guys, we're going to serve dessert over there on the couch. Go, 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 go. Okay. So, to the couch. All right. <clears throat> ah, that's better, huh? The couch. <laughs> oh, who are you voting for on Tuesday? Hmm? The state assembly, the runoff election? Ah, yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Do you like Scalas or Perry? Uh, actually, we got an oven mitt from Perry, so probably him. <laughs> so. Hey, Doug, we just had a great idea. What? What if Mike and Susie stayed with us for the whole Thanksgiving weekend? What? <laughs> yeah, they could stay up in my office on the sofa bed. What do you think? <laughs> Right in front of them. Right in front of them, she asked me. You know, oh, can they stay with us through the whole Thanksgiving weekend? You know, we got that spare room with the sofa bed. That's rough. How am I gonna spend four days with this guy? And with no buffer either, because I know Carrie's just gonna peel off with her friend and just leave me there alone with him. <laughs> I'm gonna die. <laughs> That's it, I'm gonna die. His unpleasantness will actually stop my heart. <laughs> where the hell you be? I know, I know. I had this whole thing with my mom. The super was fixing the radiator, and she didn't want me to leave her alone with him. 
Why not? I... She kept saying he was making bedroom eyes. Mom, he's 80. He has glaucoma. I was so stupid. You were so stupid, Spence. Why don't you just walk out? I, I, I wanted to. That's why we had the fight, but what can I do? It's my mother. You know, we've been hearing the same crap for the last 10 years. I need to drive my mommy to the store. I have to cut her meat off of her. I have to draw her eyebrows shut, on her. Shut up. Oh, all right, all right. You can take it easy, both of you. I'm not going to take it easy, Moose. I missed the movie because nobody told this wuss that he's 32 years old, not eight. All right, you know what? Forget about it. That's it. I'm going back to a firehouse. And you know what, Spence? I hope the soup is ringing your mother's bell right now. <laughs> and not her doorbell. I meant like he's ringing I know her. what you meant. <laughs> Don't, don't, don't worry about him, all right? He's just in a bad mood. By the way, we're not on a date. Sit over there. Do you think I'm a wuss? Well, define wuss. Someone who keeps inventing excuses to live at home because he's too scared to just grow up already. Define it again. Oh, that's it. I'm a wuss. I'm just a big, stupid, doughy wuss bag. You don't have to be, you know? Just move out already. You know what? I might just do that. Right after Thanksgiving. Why wait until after Thanksgiving, you know? I don't know. Give me some time to ease into the idea. Ease into the idea? I'm, I'm sorry, what exactly does that mean? I don't, I don't speak wuss. <laughs> It's obvious, man. You don't want to move out. I do so. No, you know what someone who wants to move out says? They say, I want to move out right now, tonight. That's right. Yeah, I'm going to find a friend who's got like a, like a spare room with a <laughs> sofa bed. And I'm going to stay there through the Thanksgiving weekend if necessary. But I'm taking my life back tonight. Ah, what's, what's the use? Doug? Yeah? <laughs> Hmm. <sighs>